morning. We are on top of a roof where there is a colony of Africanized honeybees. We are trying out for the first time our bee vac. We just started taking off some tiles, using the vac, vacuuming them up. They're really mad right now. They're attacking my camera. Alright, so Devin's gonna tell us a little bit about what he's gonna do with the vac and uh, how he's gonna go about taking off uh, part of this roof to get to the hive. Right now I'm gonna cut about uh, one and a half foot by one and a half foot square on the top of this roof. Uh, what ended up happening is they were coming in to the top of the soffit where the structural wall comes up and separates where the closet was where they were entering the house. Now they're in the roof where there's no attic access in this house. So once we pull that, we're going to be able to kill the bees. Have this job up. We are now removing the hole that the hive is underneath. If you could tell that this is actually the top of each hive cell and when he cut this and broke it off he actually broke each one of these cell divisions from the bottom so that's the bottom which was hanging from the top they always hang down and what's incredible is that this is all filled with honey so it's extremely heavy so their ability to keep these structures up is highly highly remarkable I'd have to say. In this instance, they're lucky enough, they actually hit the bottom of the soffit, so they're not depending as much on weight in this instance. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. Show us a comb. These are def definitely Africanized bees, especially the amount of honey they produce. Which maybe one day we'll have a vlog on how Africanized bees came. Yeah, quick little little info about the Africanized honeybee. They're essentially a regular European honeybee mixed together with the African variety of bees, which were super aggressive due to their large animal prey that would try to take their hive. So these are you know, essentially normal bees. They're just extremely, extremely aggressive from where they come from. So how how's it looking there, Devin? Is it a is it a hive that goes any further than we see or anything like that? Negative. But I can see where the holes they were going into the closet area. It's right here where my camera stopped because they just started. 
once. So I let off a pheromone when they knew I was there. So the reason we got this call in the first place was because these bees actually found a way into the house. Oh, started crap. coming out of the. Uh, oh, it looks like crap. No, there's. Looks like we hit something big. side of that noise. They are becoming extremely more aggressive as we uh, come closer and closer to the end of their hive. Lots of their colony is already dead. Many of these bees will never return to the colony. They'll just keep attacking us until we die. But we won't because we're in bee suits, so kind of a waste of time. <laughs> Just about finished up, removing the hive, doing some final residual stuff, make sure these guys don't come back, and we're good to go. Later, YouTubers. So we're back out here at the bee job, seal up the hole. 
A lot of people are concerned about when we do roof work that there's going to be leaks and that kind of thing. So, Devin, can you tell us about how this is put on and how a homeowner is safe with what you're doing right now? <laughs> Basically, I cut uh, no bigger than one foot holes so that way I won't mess up the structural integrity of the OSB carrying the load of the concrete roof tiles. Now, what you need to know and always know when you're using metal outside is it needs to be either galvanized or zinc plated so that way it doesn't rust. In this case, it's not plated. This is galvanized and this is meant for um, flashing. You use it a lot of times on chimney stacks or in the valleys of roofs. Um, what we're doing here is we're laying down um, some wet patch basically it's uh, wet tar it's not heated tar um, you put it down out of a caulking gun make sure you put it not only around the hole but around every screw and over every screw once you're done I'm about to put over the second patch right now and then seal it all up Get a bee stuck in tar like a dinosaur. Oh, he escaped. Will he fly? I don't think so. They're not so ballsy when there's not 5,000 of them. That's for sure. What's called dead load. Dead load is weight that is not moved, is stationary. And that's what I was explaining with the one foot holes and how we can use galvanized flashing over this. We don't have to cut from rafter to rafter and put in new OSP. That doesn't need to be done. That's dead weight on the side of the roof. This ensures a 100% watertight seal. All right, that takes care of the sealing job. Now, putting back the tiles. All right, so we're gonna put these tiles back on and we'll check back after that. Later, YouTubers. So we just put on the last of the tile. Looking good. Oh, I got a little schmutz on the camera. That's all right. Schmutz, huh? So, that's the end of this bee job. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching Devin toil away at the bees and all that good Toil, stuff. fun toiling. Toil and schmutz. Schmutz. <laughs> so we'll see you later. Stop bugging pest control, out. Devin, got schmutz on your hand.